All right, I had a question from YouTuber JR. I hope that's how to pronounce that, JR. Says, I bought a track phone BYOP SIM kit refill card. I have the AT&T dual SIM uh, standard and micro card. What prepaid phone would you recommend me getting that will work well with the SIM? All right, Jay. So I would say, first, make sure you really want to use the AT&T network. If that works well in your area, then it's a good choice. Now, I can recommend a couple phones. You didn't say how much money you want to spend. But I'd say, check out the Moto G Plus, now the fifth generation. This phone was recently released. Now, um, here on Amazon.com, if you look at the standard version, you'll see that you get the 32 gig storage with two gigs of RAM model of this phone for $230. They have an updated version of the phone, 64 gigs of storage and four gigs of RAM for $300. And then I don't know how much uh, how familiar you are with Amazon, but they have this prime exclusive deal for this phone where you can buy the phone. It has ads and offers integrated into the lock screen. Now, I thought they sold the phone at a discounted price when you did that, but it looks like they have a gift card for Amazon.com if you choose this version of the phone. So the 64 gig version, you'll get a $60 gift card. 32 uh, gigabyte version, you'll get a $45 gift card. Now, I don't have this phone myself. It's a really nice phone. There's a lot of reviews online. You can check out two phones over on the iTech UI Guy channel. He's got a lot of good reviews. He's been using this phone, posting a lot of videos. Definitely check that out. Now, another phone I'd recommend you checking out is the Blue R1 Plus. This phone's $160. Now this phone will work well with the AT&T network. Unlike the uh, Motorola G, the fifth generation, this phone only works with the AT&T and T-Mobile networks. That other phone will also work with the Verizon network. This is a nice phone for $160. I think Two Phones has also been using this phone as well, so check out his channel for some reviews. A couple other blue phones I'd recommend you check out are the Blue Life One X2 Mini. Now this phone is also $160. It has a built-in fingerprint sensor where the R1 does not. And then there's a bigger version of this phone, the, the Blue Life One X2. This phone is $137 for the 16 gigabyte version, and it's $180 for the 64 gig version. Now this phone also has a uh, fingerprint sensor as well. It will also work with AT&T's uh, network and T-Mobile, not compatible with Verizon. So those are several phones I think that you can check out that will work well with track phone. Now, the one thing I did want to comment was you said you had the SIM kit and the dual SIM standard and micro card. I would not pick your phone based on the SIM you have. You can get a SIM kit for a dollar. So I'd say look at one of those phones that I recommended. And then if you need a nano SIM card and you don't have one, buy another SIM kit for a dollar. Don't pick your uh, phone by the SIM that you have. Now, in my video here, you can see on the bottom, this is the AT&T dual SIM card, standard and micro. And then on the top, the blue one is the nano SIM card. And I think some of those phones will use a nano SIM card. So definitely just visit a Best Buy or a Target, buy another $1 SIM kit if you don't have that SIM card or order one online. All right, I'll leave uh, links for those phones below in the description. And I hope that helps you out.